Hi! Um, today we are going to do um, a product application technique called mousse gel mousse. It's popular. It's been around the curly girl world for a long time. Um, I like it and I'll tell you why I like it. Um, I like layering products sometimes because each product might give you something that you like um, that you need two or three or four or whatever it takes you to get there. Um, such as today, I will tell you, I love this gel. I can use just gel in my hair. It's kind of typically what I do. However, I love this gel. It gives the perfect hold, perfect definition, zero frizz for me, but it's too strong. So I wanted to figure out how to incorporate it into my hair, but not have to use very much of it. So in order to do my hair right, I need to saturate every hair strand. Every, every hair all throughout has to have product on it. Um, so if I do that with the gel, I get this crunch, hard hold, and I don't like the feel of it. However, if I do it with mousse, I love it. It feels great. It gets all over. It's really lightweight. It's not enough hold for me. It's not enough definition. I get a little frizzy fly away and my curls can just separate. So I'm going to show you how to get the best of both worlds, mixing and matching. So I'm going to start just out of the shower, kind of. Today I deep conditioned. So what I did was showered put on some deep conditioner in the shower, got out, got dressed, had it up in a towel, took my kid to school, put on a hat so no one would know, um, did my makeup, got my kids started in online school, did all that. Then I rinsed my hair in the sink, in the kitchen. So, um, and then just threw it in this. There's nothing else in there. I don't use any leave-in conditioner. It's just, um, I'm not saying you shouldn't. It just doesn't work for me. It weighs my hair down and makes my hair feel kind of gummy, which in theory, my high porosity hair should love leave-in conditioner. I live in a dry climate. I mean, everything points to that I should love leave-in conditioner and it doesn't work for me. So if you find your hair gummy feeling or really weighed down or it always kind of looks wet, maybe try not using leave-in conditioner or just using a teeny tiny bit, maybe play with that. So anyways, so today I'm just doing these two. That's it. I'm not using a Denman brush. I'm not using anything fancy. I'm just going to show you how I apply this when I do this technique. Everyone I'm sure has their own. So because I have such dense hair, so much hair, I like to apply in sections. So I do three sections typically. So I do this. I'm just going to pull it up. I don't do anything fancy. No fancy sectioning here. I'm going to do my mousse. I'm using the Herbal Essence Totally Twisted Mousse. I like it. It's really lightweight, lots of foaminess. I still do the same thing that I normally do where I do not apply product um, at the roots. So I'm just gonna rake this through. It smells amazing. Totally twisted. Walgreens do my next section again nothing fancy no fancy sectioning I just like to get it all because I have um, such dense hair that if I just start applying it I'll notice I miss like a whole chunk if you don't have such a dense hair you have fine thin hair you probably wouldn't have to do this part so I'm just gonna make sure I get it all in there completely saturate it. I can use a lot of mousse. I have high porosity hair. It sucks it right up. You'd never even know I put anything in there. It feels like nothing once it's in. It smells so amazing. All right. So I'm just going to add a tiny bit more to the very back. I sometimes, more like often, skip this whole little section right here. And it's kind of my wonky section. It's real thick. This right here is just super thick on me. So, all right, last section. It's where I kind of part my hair. I'm not too particular about it. I just might as well get it started. That was a big 
swap. So we're going to do this over here. This, this. Again, I don't like to get it too close to my roots. Um, if I do, I'll explain that a little bit more here. If I get product too much in this root area, I get clumps there, like it actually will clump here and I have a hard time breaking them up. So therefore I lose some volume. All right. So I am completely saturated with the mousse. Now I'm going to put in my gel. So the problem is, is that if I use too much of this, I get this hold I don't like. I don't like how it feels, and I definitely don't like how it looks. Um, it's it's so hard. I can the cast doesn't really break. The hair doesn't have movement. I'm kind of picky about that. So this is the Garnier Fruit Tea Style Pure Clean Gel. Walgreens again. I accidentally found this. They were out of my normal Aussie Instant Freeze, so I bought this instead thinking that it would be a really light hold, and it is not. I find it to be a really strong hold. So, I'm going to stand up here and show you. This, I'm just going to scrunch in. Do my little praying hands and a little scrunching. Just kind of go around in sections. This time I'm sectioning this way instead of this way. using tiny little bits here. And I'm using just, I don't even know if you can see that, just a little bit. All right, now let's do this side. I usually do this in my bathrobe. I dislike getting gel and water on my shirt for the day, but that's okay. We will survive. A little more in this front section, and then I'm going to show you. I think I do this part a little different than other people that use this technique. Everybody kind of has their own. I am going to micro plop with the t-shirt. I just push it to the scalp. Get some of that excess water out. Some of the curls start to form here. This helps significantly with my drying process because that takes me a long time. So I've done that, got the excess water out. Now I'm gonna go back in and just do a little mousse. You can see how that helped form those curls by doing the micro pop, then adding in more product. And that's it for this part. So at this point in time, you can choose a couple of different routes. Um, you can plop or you can start diffusing immediately. I like to let it sit for a minute and just let that product kind of start to harden up a little bit. Just let it sit, work its way in, do its magic, um, and then start to diffuse. And I am going to diffuse and I will come back and show you results of the mousse, gel, mousse um, technique here. But I'm going to, I always let it air dry for about 10 minutes, then I start to diffuse. I will not bore you with my diffusing. Um, it takes about 40 minutes. So I will come back and we'll see if I get a cast from this or if I um, just break it out with my hands or what we do. So I'll be back. Okay. We're back. Um, I diffused. 
Um, it didn't take quite as long as I thought it would. Mousse seems to dry faster in my hair um, than gel does. So because I had so much mousse in there. So I do have a little bit of a cast that I need to break up, but so far it's looking good. Um, I'm going to use a t-shirt. I like to use a t-shirt. Um, kind of just goes faster, I think. It really gets it out. So I'm going to scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. There we go. Cast is broken there. It's looking good. I'm not done. I have my, my finale trick is how I get my volume. And I'll tell you why I do what I do. So about two, three, four, somewhere around there years ago, I was getting a tattoo and my husband was recording it. I still have the video and I was a huge wimp, huge wimp. I mean like massive huge wimp. And the whole time I was getting it, I had my head down, like trying to not look because it was really painful. So a long time later, I was looking at that video and I noticed something about my hair that I did not like. I really never looked at the top of my head, but I had clumps all at my roots. And I was like, hmm, that's kind of interesting. I feel like if I fluffed out those clumps, I would have more volume. I mean, they were like just clumps right up all the way to the root. Like there were just sections of hair. So from that point forward, I decided I would always fluff my roots because I didn't like how that looked from the top. Not that anyone's really probably looking at the top of my head, but I knew so I'm gonna show you what I do. So I use oil. I have beard oil. You can judge. But when I read the ingredients, I became madly in love with the list. And the one thing I like about beard oil is that it was thin. Not thick like a oil where you go like this and it just all clumps right there. Like I wanted thin, like runny. So I add some to my fingertips, rub it all over my hands because I don't want my hands causing frizz while they're in here because I'm going in. I'm going full on in. So first thing I do is I just start gently massaging my roots. And I get in here because I want this oil just a little bit. I'm just kind of glazing it. So I want that oil to get in there. So I just go through and massage the scalp a little bit and this is where you will see once I discovered by accident that I didn't like how my roots looked <laughs> because I was a wimp getting a tattoo I'm talking mega wimp there were tears so I now discovered that by doing this by breaking up those clumps right at the root that I get this massive volume so I just go all the way through with the oil on my fingertips and all over my hands. I don't want my hands causing frizz. So if I just kind of, a couple of drops, nothing major, just coat it. And it's runny enough that I don't stick my hands in here and a big clump of oil just gets stuck right somewhere. I just kind of go through, feel for spots that need to be broken up. As you can see, I definitely need a root touch up. All right, so I'm going to massage at the scalp. And then final touch here. Let's get some good light going on here. I'm going to adjust this light just because it's a little dark in here. Better? Better. All right, so here we go. Still got some oil. I don't want my hands to dry out. As soon as they dry out and I'm touching in there with my hands, I can get some frizz. 
So I'm just going to make sure I've got every single spot broken up at those roots because that's where I will get all this big volume that everyone always says, how do you get your volume? So my trick is no product at the roots because if I do put product at the roots, I can't do this as easily. See, if I have product here and I've forced my hair into being a certain pattern, I don't have the freedom to do this movement. Make sense, kind of? It's called Kathy Science. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. It's not in any textbooks yet, but it's getting there. It's getting close. Kathy Science. Remember that. You can be like, oh, I knew her. All right, so there you go. There's the finished product. Volume, movement, soft, touchable hair, which was key to me. I, how it feels is equally as important to me as how it looks. So I've got the movement, the softness, and the hold and definition, all from using j mousse gel mousse. So I got the, all the, the goodness of all the products all in my hair, lots of volume, and a little bit of beard oil. It's called Bearded 101. I got it off of Facebook. It's I swear by it. I even put it on like my cuticles. I swear by it. I put it on my eyebrows. I love this stuff. I can't get enough. So anyways, and you can see that I now have some shine. That comes from the oil. Um, that's why I especially use it in the winter time when it's dry and dull. My hair gets kind of dull from the dryness. But there we go. Finished results. And um, I will see you guys. If you guys have any um, recommendations for videos, feel free to comment. I would love recommendations to do more videos and definitely subscribe um, so you can see the next one. Bye.